Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew, and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at 7. Family, the scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Psalms, and it comes from chapter 6, verse 9. And the portion I'm going to be reading from today comes firstly from the Message Translation and then from the New Living Translation. And the Message Translation reads, At last, God has heard my sobs. My requests have all been granted. My prayers are answered. Wow, family, isn't that beautiful? And then the New Living Translation says it like this. The Lord has heard my plea. The Lord will answer my prayer. Family, isn't that just such a wonderful portion of scripture to hear this early in the morning? That the Lord has heard our pleas, that he's heard our prayers, that he's answered our prayers. Family, I want you to go today into today with confidence, knowing that as you pray, as you say your morning prayer, the Lord is hearing your prayers and he is answering them. At last, our prayers have been answered, family. We must go into the day with that attitude. We must go into our quiet time this morning with that attitude that the moment we prayed, we know that the Lord has heard it and we know that the moment we've prayed it, the Lord has answered. You see, family, the moment we pray our prayers, the Lord hears it and he answers it straight away. He doesn't say, okay, well, you know, maybe I'll answer it tomorrow. You know, my, my inbox is just a little too full at the moment or something like that. No, family, that's not how it works with God. The second he hears, it he answers it family his inbox is constantly empty because all the messages have been read and all the messages have been replied to he has answered our prayers family however then you may be asking me you know well why have i prayed for x y and z and x y z hasn't magically appeared in front of me right now you see family sometimes it takes a there's a bit of a delay between God sending it or God answering the prayer and it physically manifesting here on earth we can see this in the book of daniel where Daniel had to pray and fast for 21 days. And only after 21 days did he receive the manifestation and the answer to his prayer. You see, family, the moment we've prayed the prayer, God has answered it. God has heard it. God has answered it. Now we need to see it through this side by continuing to pray and stand in faith, knowing and believing and standing on the scripture and standing on this promise that God has already answered our prayers. So instead of saying, you know, Lord, I pray for X, Y, and Z. And then tomorrow saying, Lord, I pray for X, Y, and Z. You're praying the same prayer again. And the Lord's like, but I've already answered that. What we need to do, family, in a situation like this is we need to pray the prayer of faith. So the first time we prayed, we pray, Lord, please grant me X, Y, and Z. And we know when we've prayed it, we the Lord has heard it, the Lord has answered it. So then when we go and pray for it again the next day, we don't say, Lord, please grant me X, Y, and Z again. Instead, we say, Lord, we thank you that you have granted us X, Y, and Z. And you see, family, that is the prayer of faith. And faith is the currency of heaven. Faith is a hand, a hand reaching into the spiritual realm and pulling the answers that God has given our prayers putting them from the uh, spiritual realm into the physical realm, family. That's what the prayer of faith does. So we must pray it first, believe that God has heard it and answered it. And then going forward, we must continue to pray the prayer of faith, thanking the Lord that he has already answered. And those prayers of faith is what will bring the physical manifestation of those prayers here on earth, family, like Daniel saw after 21 days of prayer and fasting. That's not to say that we have to pray and fast for everything that we pray for, family, but it's just showing his diligence in continuing to thank the Lord and believing that the Lord has answered his prayer. And after 21 days, he received the manifestation thereof, family. You see, what would have happened if Daniel had have given up praying about and just been like, oh, well, maybe the Lord just doesn't want to answer my prayer. What happens if he had have done that on day 20, family? He would have lost it. Why? Because he lost the faith to see it through. So we must continue to thank the Lord for whatever X, Y, and Z is for you until it is manifested here in the physical, because we know that when we pray it, God has heard it and God has answered it, family. And it just sometimes takes a little bit of time for it to manifest here on earth. You see, family, when we pray for something for God, God isn't always like, just like, no, I don't like you or, you know, your, your, your breath smells funny or something like that. No, family, God always has an answer for our prayers. And that answer is yes, not right now, or I've got something better for you. But it's never no, family. So believe that when you pray today, whatever it is that you're asking the Lord for, whatever it is that you're trusting the Lord for, that as you pray it, he hears it and he grants it, family. And I want to encourage you going forward in the rest of the week and until that thing manifests in your life, continue to pray the prayer of faith to pull it in from the spiritual realm 
into the physical realm so that it'll manifest here in the physical realm because God has already answered it. God has already granted it, family. And if he hasn't granted you that, he's got something better for you. Just watch, family. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you have made and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you that we can start the day with you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that as we go into our quiet time, Lord, and make our requests known before you, Lord, coming boldly into your throne room of grace to make our requests known before you, Lord, we know that you hear our prayers you answer our prayers, Lord. You grant us that which we want, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that going forward, Lord, that nothing will rob us of our faith. Nothing will rob us of the knowing that you have answered our prayers already so that we will continue to go forth thanking you for that which you have already answered us because you've already answered it to us, Lord. You've already granted it to us, Lord. We're just waiting for it to manifest here in the physical, Lord. So we thank you, Lord, in advance for the prayers that you've heard, the prayers that you've answered. We thank you, Lord, continuously for those prayers to manifest here in the physical, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we can put our faith into action, Lord, and pull the blessings and the promises and the prayers that you have answered from the spiritual realm to manifest here in the physical realm, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for this day that we can go forward, Lord. And we pray that you will lead us and guide us in everything we do and in everything we say, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that we'll be able to return safely tomorrow to listen to new messages and to spend time with you again in your presence. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hey there, thanks for watching my video. I trust that this message blessed you and encouraged you. And I'd like to ask you to please share the link to this video with your friends and family so that they too may be blessed and encouraged by this message and don't forget when you're done to please give us a thumbs up give me a like drop a comment let me know what you think about the content of this message and when you're done please remember to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already and go and follow and like me on all social media platforms to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that i'm getting up to everything that's happening in the ministry and every time i upload a video just like this one thank you family enjoy the rest of your day and god bless